Gyroids were finally added back into the Animal Crossing series. And my god, they're so freaking adorable. The blow up, it's phenomenal. Gyroids have been a staple in the Animal Crossing series since the beginning. These little clay friends have always been in our virtual lives, and we've definitely missed them. What do gyroids do? What are gyroids used for, and what's the best way to find them? I went into crazy details in a past video all about gyroids and the history behind them. Gyroids are based on the Haniwa, which are figures made and buried with the dead during funerary rituals. Whenever you dig up a gyroid, you're digging up a grave. Congratulations. Gyroids in the series are used as decorations and noise making, I guess. <laughs> the 2.0 gyroids are so much better in this game than in past games. They're cuter, they make better sounds, and they can even be customized. These are my favorite gyroids. Go find a nice patch of dirt, Lloyd. You're no longer needed. If you have any music playing, the gyroid will play along with the beat. Each gyroid type has its own sound effect, so you can collect them all and hear a mess of satisfying noise. Besides decoration and noise, they aren't really used for much else. Just a nice collectible to enjoy. And if you're interested in collecting them, there's a bunch of different varieties and colors to find. You can visit Cyrus to customize a gyroid to a different color variation, so you don't have to collect every single one of them organically if completing your catalog or gyroid collection is something you're interested in. Gyroids can be found in a few different ways. The main place to look for them is on Captain Islands. Every Captain Island you visit will have at least one gyroid fragment buried. As long as you don't have the bad belonging luck thrown at you by Katrina, you're good. Before you depart from a Captain Island, make sure that you dig up your dig spot. As most of you know, the fragments you find can form into fully grown gyroids by burying them in the ground on your main island, watering them, and then waiting one day. You can tell if a gyroid is watered by the smoke that appears from the dig spot. If it's raining on your island, you don't have to worry about watering. The rain does it all for you, or snow in the winter. If you're lucky enough, you'll find a rainy or snowy Caton Island. These islands will have one gyroid fragment buried as well as one fully grown, put together gyroid. Make sure you grab both. The fully grown gyroid is the only good thing about the island. Everything else there is pretty much lackluster. As of the latest update, gyroid fragments can now be found washed up on your beach, similar to how bottles work, except with the gyroids, there's only a 30% chance that they'll appear on your beach. Run around your beaches every day to see if you got lucky. I tried to do some experimenting to see if gyroids worked exactly like the messages in bottles. You can have one bottle appear on your beach every day, but if you happen to miss one, the next day you can have two spawn, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So I was hoping that gyroids could work the same way, but I wasn't lucky enough to actually get a gyroid to appear. I know, shocking. Due to the fact that bottles have a 100% chance of appearing on your beach and gyroid fragments are only a 30% chance, I'm gonna go ahead and say that two probably won't spawn if you happen to miss one. If I find out otherwise, I'll be sure to pin a comment. Gyroid fragments do not spawn buried on your main island like they do on Captain Islands though. They can only be found on your beaches. But if it rains or snows in the wintertime on your island, the next day you will have two fully grown gyroids buried somewhere. You'll have to search a bit to find them because you'll also be digging up fossils like normal, but they're there. To get any benefits of rain in the game, you have to actually play when your island is actively raining or snowing. If you've taken the time to find your weather seed from Meteo Nook, make sure you log into the game during the hour that precipitation is occurring. That way you can guarantee the next day two full grown gyroids will appear somewhere on your island. Make sure you grab these the next time you log on. If you continue to play and it rains again, a new set of gyroids won't appear. You'll still only dig up two fully grown gyroids. Unless I was really bad at searching my island, I've had gyroids disappear on me like this. On the other hand, I have waited a couple days with no precipitation and my gyroids were still there. So just make sure you grab your clay friends the next time you play so you don't lose out on any additional ones. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about gyroids. I'm so excited these little guys were added back into the game. They're so freaking cute, I can't handle them. There's so many different types and they aren't even ugly, unlike past games. What's your go-to way to find gyroids? Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!